Well, long Mr. Catholic Pope. I don't know where they come up with all the strange names that they come up with. That's Catholic Church's business. So, I'm just going to call you Mr. Catholic Pope. So, you're coming here to influence our politics. That's what I'm uh, here to talk about. My suggestion to you is to go back to selling life after death insurance. That's what a preacher does, or in your case, a pontiff. Normally, what they do is they go and sell life after death insurance. That's what Christianity is, life after death insurance. Now, Mr. Catholic Pope, sir, I am an agnostic, so I don't give two hoots about your religion or lack thereof. I actually think that you are an atheist. That's my opinion. I don't think you're a Christian at all. You know, you're spouting communist rhetoric right and left, and communism and Christianity just don't go uh, together any more than Christianity and Nazism actually went together. They're foolish to ever have any flirtation with uh, Adolf Hitler, which the religious community did. So, uh, many of us don't like you. But you're here, and there's nothing we can do about it. Now, you're trying to make life unbearable in this country for us. You have no right interfering in our politics. And as far as I'm concerned, I don't want you here. And so don't a whole lot of others. Uh, so, my advice to you, which you're not going to take, of course, and you'll come here and You'll try to turn our Congress even further to the left. My, my advice to you is, go away, because we don't like you. So, now, I don't know why you're here, to be honest, other than to uh, continue the destruction of this country uh, the way... Obama has been destroying it. Obama and these leftists in the Congress. You recently said, uh, we're bringing it. The refugee crisis is happening because of the god of money. You couldn't be more wrong. I can't believe that you're that actually that stupid. Refugee crisis was pre-planned by ISIS back in February of this year, and that is on record. They fully intended to send the so-called refugees into er Europe in order to conquer Europe. They openly stated, we're going to take Rome. We're going to conquer Rome. They openly stated this. They predicted it, and now it's happening. And you're saying it's because we don't give enough. It's bullshit. No, Mr. Catholic Pope, the refugee crisis is nothing more than an invasion. That's all it is. You know, I can't imagine what it would be like if It's just sad, you know, every year we have the, uh, D-Day invasion thing, and D-Day invasion, memorial, whatever, and I'm looking at Europe and I'm thinking, Mr. Catholic Pope, what a tragedy it would be if we would have to do it all over again. Of course, I wouldn't think happen exactly the same way or anything, but if this 
refugee, so-called refugee stuff, which is an invasion that hasn't stopped. I can see our going over in Europe, having to fight the bad guys. Problem is, they don't put on uniforms, but if we go in and deliver a place, uh, at some point in time they're going to have to fight. Then we'll know where the bastards are. Anyway, I'm getting off topic. So, like I said, many of us don't like you. You are a hardcore Marxist. You are not a religious figure. I'm calling you out. Not that you're ever going to watch this video. So, like I said, as far as I'm concerned, as risk of sounding like a fictional character, Captain Kirk, we don't like you. So, Unbelievable when this is happening. I mean, my life will go on. You're down in New York City, City first or something. They've turned it into a miniature police state. My life will go on. I'm a long ways away from you, fortunately, for me. bad for my blood pressure. I have to uh, deal with commies like you. So, like I said, bu 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 just leave. I'm Artifacts of Mars. <laughs>